Welcome back to another Anime vs. Master Duel. Today we're going through the deck that regular Yugi uses against the Kageyama sisters. He pulled, Teya pulled a um, Violet Hecate card and she gave it to Yugi, but then these wicked sisters wanted to take it from her. Um, there is a duel that happens before this, which is a kind of like uh, the only card that's like shown that's new for Yugi is uh, the ghost and uh, not even the ghost only the violet uh, violet Hecate so it's it's I was like ah we can skip that I uh, uh, the the card I'm substituting in for the violet Hecate is um, the dark magician um it's uh uh, pretty close to what what the card is the card is in the show. Um, level seven. Um, it's got 2,300 defense instead of 2,500 defense. Um, and uh, I'm not I'm not going to do a substitution back in for the dark magician. That'd be kind of weird. I have two dark magicians in the deck, um, so I'm just keeping the dark magician at one. It, it, it even in this duel against the. Um, the, the sisters. Uh, Yugi doesn't even use the Violet Hecate uh, because Hecate because um, there's uh, there's no um, there's no uh, the, the card is taken from him as well as his Millennium Puzzle. Um, all right, so uh, we'll go through the deck. Um, okay, so uh, starting with the Skull Servant. That was uh, used a long time ago uh, in the first duel. Uh, a new card for this for this deck is Dancing Elf. That's standing in for Ghost, <laughs> which we see on Yugi's bed. Um, Unicycler, uh, still standing in for Rock Gun. Um, next up, we've got Mushroom Man playing himself. Uh, basic Insect standing in for like a Stick Bug. We got Curtain of the Dark Ones, standing in for Dark Mammoth. Uh, we got Kageningen, standing in for Night Soldier. Um, we've got a new one, Kagamusha of the Blue Flame, standing in for Chimera. <laughs> now Chimera, uh, a good, better substitution for Chimera would have been the Midabat, but that's already being uh, substituted in for Black Scorpion, which are, they're, they're both basically the exact same card. So um, there, there we go, we got, we got two of, of the same card, but different, well, whatever. Um, next up we got Silver Fang, uh, that was the winning card from last duel. Uh, after that we've got uh, this bald tattoo guy, he's, um, yeah, he's there. Um, he was used in the first duel. Uh, next up, we got an angel. We we're running a petite angel for that angel. Furious Sea King for the half fish man. Uh, next up, we got Ray and Temperature for this white card. Uh, Mystic Elf for Holy Elf. We got Blackland Fire Dragon for Dark Dragon. And what's this? A Kaiba card? Oh no! Uh, but yeah, actually seen seen in the bed on the bed on Yugi's sick bed. Um, is uh, Kaiba's card, the Battle Ox. So yeah, Yugi actually owns a copy of Battle Ox. Um, and we're running two of them because nah, the, the, the power of the deck has grown. Uh, usually our, our best monster used to be like, uh, well, our best monster is still Summon Skull, but it like our, our generic like best-ish kind of monster was like a Blackland Fire Dragon and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're moving up in the world. Moving up in the world, moving up in the power. Next up we got uh, Beaver Warrior, substituting for Shadow Man. Next we got um, Komori Dragon, that substitutes for uh, playing themselves, playing Devil Dragon, Devil Man. Um, the, uh, yeah, the De Devil Dragon Man. The power of this dragon is uh, a, a vicious fire-breathing dragon whose wicked flame corrupts the souls of its victims. Um, it's, it's pretty, it, it's pretty iconic, it's, uh, it's, I think it's one of the first cards that Yugi plays in, uh, Duel Masters, and, uh, yeah, uh, finally on the, like, 
13th episode or something. What is it? Eighth episode? Fifteenth episode. Uh, the, the Kamori dragon finally makes its appearance. Um, next up, we've got the sleeping lion. That's substituted for the sleeping worm. Sleeping worm! Which is, uh... Actually, a pretty close stat-wise. Just uh, the sleeping word has 200 less attack with 500 attack. So yeah, we actually have a pretty decent substitution. Um, and next up, we got Hercules Beetle. Whoop! Oh no! This this is this is Yugi's Ace card in this duel. Um, man, how am I gonna pronounce this? Garochin Kagua Kuwaga. Uh, Garochin Kuwagata. This is the um, this is Yugi's uh, Yugi's card. He he uh, he, it, it's not actually called that in the in duel. It's called uh, what is it? Iron Beetle. Uh, and the the combo for this duel is Yugi uses. Uh, the sleeping worm and a card that will come up later to uh, evolve the sleeping worm into the most powerful monster the iron beetle uh, it's not the most powerful monster because we know that um, Yugi has battle ox in his deck so uh, <laughs> it was a it was pretty a uh, crazy uh, little uh, combo just to get out a 1700 attacker um, next up we got Hercules beetle substituting in for uh, Stag Beetle. Next up we got Bolt S Cargo, uh, substituting in for a snail. Trent, substituting in for like a little plant tree guy. We got Summon Skull, um, the, the fir still the best monster in Yugi's deck, was used in the first duel and has stayed the best monster since the first duel. Uh, we got uh, Dark Magician, playing himself of course. Uh, except in the, the uh, Toei anime, Dark Magician only has 2,000 attacks, so really I should be using something like uh, Curse of the Dragon or something. Alright, next up we got uh, the Sun spell, which we're, we're running Hinatama for that. We've got Howl, or Roar, um, and destroying all dull monsters. Uh, I, I kept that at 2 because, uh, who knows, maybe we'll run into a machine deck. I wanted to play it at least once, we didn't run into a machine deck last time. And we just got this new card, so... I want, I want to play Acid Rain one time. Um, Monster Reborn, the best card in the deck, uh, the, used in the first duel. And uh, the the most powerful card, <laughs> the most powerful card in Yugi's deck, I think in the entire anime, um, it's not Silent Doom, it's the, the card that I substituted for Silent Doom. The, the card is called uh, Clock Card. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, clock card. And um, once played, you can control the past, present, and future and freely manipulate them. Wow. Um, so what, what does Yugi do? Um, he, he uses this card to bring back his worm, his sleeping worm, and grow it into his, uh, not stag beetle, iron beetle. Um, it, it, wow. Uh, you can control the past, present, and future, and all you can think to do is, like, gr make a worm grow old. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's, that's great. That's really great. Alright, well, in, instead of th doing that, we're doing, uh, Silent Doom, which is kind of a similar thing, because the, uh, clock card was, like, revive something from the graveyard, but it, that, that card wasn't actually used, it was used as to bring out a different card, so I feel like Silent Doom, which, which doesn't allow you to attack and bring something back from the graveyard, kind of works in a similar kind of way that clock card would. And lastly, we got a helmet, and, uh, for the helmet, we're running Steel Shoot. Uh, steel shell. All right. Well, um, that's the deck, and we'll be going on to the uh, video. Uh, I'm using a different setup this time, so uh, see if you like the audio a little bit better or a little bit worse. Uh, the video might be a little bit better. Um, yeah, comment down below.